Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Well, We are here celebrating the Emmy Awards here at the Live Expo Green Pavilion. Um, and we are here on the rooftop of the Peterson again. Again, it's another gorgeous. With Courtney another Leon. rooftop. I know. What's up with this? I like this. We just keep meeting on rooftops. That's a good place to meet, isn't it? I think so. I think so. Yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's really sunny and bright outside and it's sweltering. <laughs> It is about 105 degrees outside, really? I'm pretty sure. That's what my car said. But maybe it was sitting in the sun, I don't know. But it's too hot. No, no, I'm no. melting. It, it was at 92 degrees at the beach, and look how gorgeous you I mean, you still. Thank you. Very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trying to keep it together in this crazy heat. It is. But see, you've made a lot of national headlines lately. I have. You have. <laughs> and it might have to do with your birthday. Has to do with my birthday. So. I did this killer dance to Girls, Girls, Girls from my boyfriend's band, Motley Crue. And they're on tour with Kiss right now. They're just finishing up the tour. Oh, it was but Motley Crue and Kiss? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so it was crazy. And um, I always wanted to do it. I thought the girls were so cute. They're dancers. And I would watch the show night after night. And I'm like, I could do that. I can do that if I practice. So I did. I practiced hard. And for my birthday, I thought it'd be fun to go do a little dance routine on stage and it was really fun a little scary but but it turned out good thank goodness I didn't fall well, or anything but you know what it, I mean a lot of you are sitting there listening to us and you're going oh well that sounds like fun you do a dance for your boyfriend well see part of it it's not just a dance for your boyfriend because this was all over the national news and and in front of 25,000 <laughs> strangers friends <laughs> for him yeah it was, was, nice. he, was he on stage with you when he you did it? He was on stage, so he knew that I was going to do it, but did I'd did really he, been practicing. Did he have any previews? No. So okay. he hadn't seen me practicing at all. Um, I had the whole costume made from their wardrobe girls, which they're amazing, <laughs> and it was super cute. Like a little pussycat doll outfit, you know, like their little burlesque routines. Right. So they made me this great outfit, and, you know, I had the fishnets on and the boots and... You know the gloves and the hat and she everything was, a sex was super. Kitten. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I wouldn't let him see me practice at all. And I was practicing in the tour bus, and he would walk in, and I'd be kind of like sweating a little. He's like, "Are you working out?" I go, "No, I'm just practicing my moves because I really don't want to mess up on stage." And he thought it was really funny that I was taking it so seriously, but I didn't want to fall or embarrass well, myself in front of everyone. And so it was really fun because as soon as I got out there afterwards, um, when I was watching the footage, he's playing and he sees me and he just starts smiling and like laughing and he's watching me while he's playing. And then I went over and danced around him and he kind of gave me a little birthday spanking. <laughs> so, so I wasn't expecting that. That threw me off guard a little, but it was fun. It was so awesome. What, what, what happened during that experience that was totally unexpected to you? I practiced so hard and I'm a big planner. So I couldn't, I knew that I couldn't just go out there and wing it. I had to learn the moves and there was choreography with the other dancers. And I had a shot of tequila. <laughs> Beforehand? <laughs> right before I went out because I was so nervous. And, and then I got out to the side of the stage and I started almost having a panic attack. And I thought, oh, there's no way. I can't do this. I don't remember any of the moves. I started totally blanking out. And the costume girl and the stage manager basically, like, you know, oh, kind of uh, kicked me out on the stage and said, you could do it, just go have fun, and if you forget, who cares? Like, you look cute and just right. dance. And as soon as I got out there, I remembered everything. It, like, came back to me. And Nikki's always told me when you get off stage and when you're performing, it's like a high. Right. Right? Like, performers, it's like... They just, it's this amazing high, and I never really understood it. I was only out there for two minutes, but <laughs> it was crazy. I got off, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I wanted to go run a marathon or something. I was just bouncing off the walls. It was so exciting. So did you do that all by yourself, or did you, wasn't somebody else there on stage with you? Sophie, who's Tommy's girlfriend, so she's the, the main dancer and the choreographer, and then there's another dancer, Allison, 
so they kind of taught me a bunch of the moves, and then they were I freestyled. <laughs> That's what it's called, in dancer world, freestyled. Uh, I did freestyle moves the rest of the time. <laughs> yeah, they were my support group. Your support group. Uh, can you show some of those freestyling moves? Oh, I guess I can, just a little bit. <laughs> um, I think I need a shot of tequila. So. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, Only on birthdays. That's okay. On birthdays, special yeah. occasions. Now you just came out with a new cover-up line. Yes, cover-ups by Courtney. So it came out uh, this summer, and it did really well. I have Cindy Crawford wearing them, and she just sent me a note saying how much she loved them, which was amazing because she's my idol. I've loved her since forever, and she's a, just. It's Cindy Crawford. I know. I mean, Why what are you else sitting there talking about her? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I opened it and I thought, who's this from? And then it said, I love them. They're so cute. Like, I love wearing them at the beach. And I went, oh, oh my gosh. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm designing the line for next spring and summer. Okay. And there's going to be a lot of kind of Indian-inspired caftans and Moroccan-style oh, fabrics. Sweet. All silk, so. Of course, I'm because spring-summer 2013 was just announced. Right. So you're going to... Oh, that's exciting. It's exciting. I know. Yeah. Well, stay tuned. So if people want to catch up with you on the internet, where's the best place to go, Courtney? Okay. Well, you can find me on Twitter. It's Miss Courtney B. And you can find me on Facebook, too. It's Courtney Bingham Official. And also, let's not forget my do-it-yourself website, which has all my fun blog posts. So that's CourtneyBingham.com. So come check me out. Perfect. Thank you, Courtney. Thanks. Oh, Good to see, to see you. I know. Okay, do the move again. Oh. Can I do any more moves? <laughs> <laughs> People are kind of staring at me funny. But we're going to turn the cameras off, and then I'm really oh, going to... Are you going to practice? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Carl. Bye. <laughs> That's fun. Nice to see you. I love doing this little. I know, this is so fun. Thank you.